Hey, it's Vanessa the Crafty Gemini. I post weekly how-to video tutorials right here on my YouTube channel and in this video I'm teaching you how to take pork fat and render out lard. So the first thing I do is start off with quality pork fat and I use pastured pork fat and all that means is you want to get the fat from pigs that have been raised outside in grass and pasture, okay? So you take your pork fat, maybe contact your local farmer's market if you're not sure where to find it. I just cut it up into chunks about one inch. There's a lot of tutorials that say you have to grind it and do this and that. I like to keep things simple. So I just cut it up into chunks and put it in a solid cast iron skillet. I don't add any water. All I do is put it at a really low heat. You can see it's set to like between the lowest setting and the number one. So just let it come up and you'll start seeing it shiny as the fat starts to render out of it. Stir it every 20 or 30 minutes or so. Just move it around so nothing gets stuck at the bottom. And as you can see, as the process goes along, you're going to start getting more of the liquid fat rendered out, which that is the lard. And then these chunkier bits are called cracklings. And a lot of people like to use them and when they're making cornbread. People just sprinkle some salt on them and snack on them or feed them to their pets. Whatever you want to do with it, feel free to do with that. But you will have some cracklings left over after all the fat is rendered out or the lard, right? So I just pour it over a strainer into a big measuring bowl. Be careful because the stuff is hot. I like to let it sit on the counter for a bit to cool down before I pour it into a container with a lid that I can use to store it in, in the fridge. So here I ended up with about four cups of the rendered lard. I'm pouring it into a quart sized jar here and you can see the color just looks like oil at room temperature but as it starts to cool off it's going to get lighter. You can see it start to turn a little cream towards the bottom here and after a few hours in the fridge it looks like this. I use the lard in a ton of different applications, cooking, baking, and even in soap making. So I encourage you to do some research, check it out if you're interested. But I hope you all enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, hit it with the thumbs up below, share it across the different social media sites, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of my future video tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.